Well, hello, everyone. Yeah. My name is Erin Miller, and we will be doing a session today on mental health. Know your feelings and needs. So yeah, a little bit about me. It's in, early, in high school and early adulthood, I was still learning what I needed. I would have these feelings of, I didn't quite know what I needed yet. There, was, there would be these times where I had a vague sense, well, something's not quite right, but I'm not quite sure what, when I didn't know my feelings and needs. I might lose, I might have lost my temper, I might have shouted at someone, and even if they didn't do anything, it's, might have even burst into tears and just run away. It's, I didn't know what I needed then. That's why I'm teaching everyone here today. Now that I know my feelings and needs, now that I know, I know how to be assertive. I know, I, I know when that, I don't like that feeling. I let myself feel that feeling and let it go. I know if I feel hot or hungry or thirsty, it's even just those little things that can make a very big difference. So just to, just go around a quick. So everybody go around the room. Name one thing you like and one thing you don't. Anyone? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Likes being around people but doesn't like efficiency. Who else? Yeah. That's awesome. Likes movies, but doesn't like the scary stuff. Other people, yeah. Don't like dogs or cats, but what? But I like, I don't, no, I like dogs and cats, but I really don't like warm, bug, beetles. Awesome, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like, I like helping people, but I don't like complainers. Like helping people but don't like complainers. Yeah, that's a really good one. And one more. Yeah. I generally know I feel or don't like the um, shooting a doe. You don't like shooting a doe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one. So the gentleman over here likes likes hunting but doesn't like doesn't like shooting a doe. These are all great great things. And the reason why I asked everyone what they like and what they don't like is because it's the start of knowing what you knowing your feelings and knowing your needs. When you know the things you like and the things you don't like, the things you like are going to be things that bring down stress. The things you don't like I said, I said don't like already, didn't I write? Okay, I'll start over. The things you do like are things that bring down stress. Things that you don't like bring stress up. What? Oh no, what did I do? Close that. But a little stress is a good thing. A little stress is what helps us meet high standards. It's having too much stress that's, that, that's, not, that's not the greatest. It's all about balance. I 
I came up with that with that with that measure uncomfortable, but take one step because it helps me keep that balance between having high standards and being able to rest when you need it. It tells me how I can stretch to grow or if I need to take a break. It, you need both. It's you can't keep going and going and going and going until you hit a wall or, or, or rest too much. It's it's all about the balance. Uncomfortable, but take one step. It's also something that tells me where is that moment that that moment just that, that moment just before the point of no return and when I'm about to get overwhelmed and that's that, that is that that point I'll be able to pull back. It looks different for everyone. See what works for you. More time to talk to the audience. Awesome. Can you think of a time when there when there was the big task it was overwhelming? So you did just a little bit instead. Anyone? Yeah. Cuando va uno a enseñar una nueva destreza y tiene uno que hacer todos los planes de educación y dice uno, ¿cómo voy a enseñar esto en una hora? Lo tiene que romper en pequeños y pequeños y pequeños pasos. So, I, if, as we're waiting, I can tell you when you are going to be teaching a whole lesson that implies a lot of skills, you cannot do it all at the same time you think, how can I fit this in one hour of my time? So I'm going to break it in little steps. And I will think where I am, where I'm going in, one step at a time. If my house is a mess, sometimes I just focus on one thing, like the top of the kitchen table or something. Top of the kitchen table instead of doing the entire house. Yeah. Hello. Um, when I think of a big task, I think about like at one of the jobs that I work at, and and one of the jobs is uh, is at church, and I pre basically clean, and there's and it's a sort of a big church, so you think like in most areas, it's like you know these areas I'm cleaning a lot, but sometimes the big task of cleaning can be a little bit overwhelming. That's true. Yeah. I mean, especially when I'm just working there two days a week compared to the other job I work at, but still it's... Thank you, that's great. And one more person, yeah. This might be, I like to clean my bedroom. If it's messy, I have to clean very well. Yeah, you bet. These are all great examples. What I'm doing right now is I am affirmations. When, when I get stressed, I will say things like, I am here now. I am smart. I am kind. I am a superstar. Let's keep going. Everyone is different. Different brains have different needs. There may be some people who like to walk around. There may be some people who work better with music in the background. There may be people who need visuals. There may be people who, there may be people who, lis who learn by listening. And that's okay. It's okay to be different. It's what works for you and your life. 
For example, I sometimes have the flossers on my desk rather than in the bathroom. Most people would think the bathroom is the right place to, ha to have a flosser. But if I don't have it there in that odd place, I will forget to floss and I'll forget to floss. We're going to be doing an activity. I have handouts for everybody on the um, on the tables, but if you like, you can. There are other ways. There are other ways of learning. You could get into small groups and point to where a feeling is on your body. We sometimes have, we sometimes feel our emotions in our body. For example, when I'm feeling mad, I will clench my jaw and get a headache as a result. Or if, or if I'm hot, I'll feel these prickles, uh, these hot prickles on my back. And if I'm calm, I'll feel not too loose, not too tight, just right. I want you to take five minutes and and either 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 draw, either draw your feelings on your paper or or stand up and point to, point to where it is on your body. Whatever works for you. Everyone is different. Whatever works for your brain best. We'll take five minutes and come back around. Hey everyone, we're coming back around. So what were some things you came up with? Yeah. My upper body like usually warms up when I'm angry. Awesome. Yeah. Other people, yeah. Mine's just like, a, like an ice cream cone. Yeah, I know. Ice cream, yes. Yeah. When I get mad at work, I just use my fidgets. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, too. My heart beats a little fast when I'm anxious. Yeah, heart beats a little fast when you're anxious. That's a great one. And one more. Oh, yeah. Um, sometimes when you have a lot on your plate, you can feel overwhelmed and might not know how to handle the situation. Yeah, when you have a lot on your plate, you might feel overwhelmed. That's, that's a great one. You can feel all kinds of feelings in your bodies. <laughs> Mad, sad, afraid, but you can also feel good. It's, scratch that. Emotions aren't good or bad. They're things that give us information. And in my experience, that is, this has opened opportunities for me. It has been able to, go places that I couldn't before and can go into activities that I couldn't before. This has been able to increase self-determination and everyone is different. Be you. You are kind, you are smart, and you are just plain awesome. Thanks y'all. <laughs>